Hello, my name is Juliette Atkinson and I am an executive coach and founder of The Coaching Connection. In this short webinar, my invitation is to understand what a personal board of directors is and the benefits of having one. I'll also be offering suggestions on the types of profiles you may want to consider for your personal board and a practical exercise to analyse your current inner circle and ways in which you can recruit new people onto Team U. So what is a personal board of directors? A personal board of directors is a trusted inner circle that supports you and your professional and career development. So these are the people that we go to to advise us, to cheerlead us, to challenge us. They can open doors for us and they can connect us with people and opportunities. So these relationships may be formal or informal. If you think, for example, of a top athlete when it comes to their physical and mental fitness and the evolution of their performance, it's not just down to them and not just down to their own talent and hard work. They'll be surrounded by a team of people such as a coach, a physiotherapist, a nutritionist, an agent, a sponsor, um, amongst others. So there are many people that contribute to the elevation of an athlete's game and consequently their career. So how can you apply this idea to having a personal board? Here are some of the profiles that you may want to consider having on your team. And by the way, two of the most common questions that I get around this is, what's the difference between these profiles and how can we identify them and get in touch with these people? So first of all, a mentor, and there's often confusion between what a mentor is and a coach, what a coach is. A mentor is someone who's usually senior to you and shares with you advice and expertise based on their experience. You may meet with this person on a regular, say, monthly basis and a mentoring relationship can actually last for a while. And you may even have more than one mentor for different topics. When it comes to approaching a potential mentor, well, I can only refer to a former colleague who shared her secret of engaging a board level mentor. She just asked. If you're not feeling that audacious, then you can either ask a mutual contact or your manager to introduce you. If you're appro approaching someone who's external, then you could try contact excuse me, contacting them on LinkedIn. But do take care that uh, you do your homework about them first and be very clear about what, uh, what you're asking for them. Or again, ask someone in your network who knows them personally to introduce you. It may be also worth looking into whether your company has a mentoring program. Secondly, a coach. A coach is someone who will work with you as a thinking partner and works with you on a contracted learning and development set of objectives to help you find your own solutions. Coaching is generally a fixed and short term contract and either you can ask your HR department about the coaches that they work with or if you prefer to work privately then ask around in your network for recommendations or you can approach organisations such as the EMCC or ICF. A coach will usually offer a discovery call or a chemistry session just to see if it's going to be valuable to you for you to work together. This is really important because it's all about partnership with coaches. Finally, a sponsor is someone who speaks for you, who opens doors for you and who can help position you for new opportunities within your organisation. So generally, either a sponsor will identify you, so make sure that you're working on your own visibility, or you may, again, have a sponsorship programme in your own organisation, so it's worth looking into that.
With these suggestions in mind, I'd now like to invite you to map out your current personal board of directors. So take a pen and paper and take a few moments to either write or draw the members of your inner circle. Then when you've done that, note for each of them what their role is. Be specific as you can and uh, feel free to pause the recording if you'd like to do this exercise right now. Once you've completed that, just take a moment to step back and observe what you've noted and notice who is in your team. Do they have anything in common? Are there any common themes in what you're asking of them? So for example, if you're asking a bunch of people to cheerlead for you, then it may be worth bringing someone else in who's going to challenge you a bit more. Is the team diverse? Are you, are you being biased in any way about the people that you go to? So it's really worthwhile in doing this exercise of observing and noticing just to see if uh, you can be more mindful of your team and if your current team is really the best team for you to elevate you in the best possible way. So just notice and note anything down that comes up for you. If there's anyone missing, then uh, if there's anyone new that uh, who could provide a beneficial contribution to you and uh, fresh perspectives to your personal board, then do feel free to uh, refer to my tips for recruiting or uh, contact uh, your internal networks or, uh, or your HR department. That's it for now and I would like to thank you for listening. I'd love to hear from you if you would like to share your experience, if you have any questions or if you have any feedback on this recording. Thank you very much and let's stay connected.